Within seconds of adding the small device to a pistol, this fertile agent goes from shooting one bullet at a time to firing off 1,200 bullets per minute. It's bad because they pose a significant threat to law enforcement and to the general public. It's called a Glock switch. It turns your average pistol into a machine gun. It's something you can make in your house, you can make with a computer. Uh, it's not made uh, with craftsmanship. As you can see, weapons break down and uh, it makes them even more dangerous. But it's not just pistols being altered. Semi-automatic rifles are also becoming more dangerous with a similar device. The modified gun, much harder to control, becoming a threat to everyone around it. I know of no valid reason that anybody would want one of these devices on the end of their weapon, in their weapon, other than to do harm and destruction and to kill someone. Dozens have been taken off the streets in Baton Rouge, where more and more young people are using them, hoping to hit their intended right. target. Oftentimes, I think 10 or so are being held by juveniles, which again makes it even more dangerous. East Baton Rouge District Attorney Hiller Moore says state laws don't count the modified guns as a machine gun, which carry greater penalties. In order to charge someone with possession of a fully automatic machine gun, they have to come to a special range and prove it. Now Moore's office is working with the state lawmakers to redefine what a machine gun is. He also notes anyone who is charged with possession of a machine gun can leave jail, buy a new pistol, and convert their already deadly weapon into something more dangerous. That's another statute that we ask, could ask the legislature to take a look at and change uh, because we surely don't want people that are possessing these types of weapons have the ability to possess it again or any other type of weapon for that matter at all. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.